Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff Hood with Hood Company Real Estate, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. I hope you have a wonderful day. If we can help you with your real estate needs, check us out online at hoodcompanyhome.com. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Hey folks, happy Thursday to you. Ben Luna here with you in the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. Wishing you a terrific day as you check out this forecast update made possible by our friends down at Hood Company Real Estate in Lawrenceburg. All right, off the top, it's going to be a little bit on the stormy side, if not through the afternoon with a few hit and miss storms, then definitely later into tonight through early Friday as yet another round takes aim at the Tennessee Valley. We'll talk about that plus the effects that we'll have from this system as we head toward the weekend. And heads up, it's going to be just a smidgen cooler as we get closer to Saturday and Sunday. Again, all those details and more right here in this April 18th edition of Your Weather Today. Let's hop right into it. Here's a look at satellite radar. This is over the past 24 hours and notice just a lot of moisture flowing into the Tennessee Valley from the Gulf region and an approaching frontal boundary off to the northwest as well that's eventually going to find its way into our neck of the woods as we head through the course of today. Now, parts of the area outlined by the Storm Prediction Center of being potentially uh, in the zone for some more severe weather. We are watching for the potential of a few rocky storms as we head through the uh, course of this afternoon and then tonight. I really don't think the threat for this afternoon materializes in our immediate area. I think that's going to happen maybe a little east of I-65, but regardless, we'll be watching that closely. Here's future cast as we head through the day. Notice a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures will be making a big jump all the way into the mid 80s for you. And then here comes the possibility, say around five to seven this evening for those pop up hit and miss storms. If a few of those find some instability, we might be looking at a few rocky cells there, but I really think the bigger stuff is going to be as that front approaches the area tonight. Here comes that boundary around 10 o'clock on this run of the future cast. Anticipate gusty winds, heavy rainfall, some hail in the mix as well, and then as fast as that shows up, it's right out of here and gone as we head into the early, early morning hours of Friday, and then just maybe a few leftover showers south and east of our area as we head toward Friday afternoon. Now, how much rain are we going to see from this system? A smidge for sure. I think we're going to wind up in the ballpark of a half an inch to an inch. Some models are running that maybe just a little bit more closer to an inch, but I don't think we're going to see any more than that as quick as it comes and goes across the Tennessee Valley. Now, longer range into the weekend. Here's a look at the longer range GFS model. We are maintaining a few showers off to the south here through Friday afternoon, otherwise partly cloudy skies as we start to head into the weekend. And then low pressure starts to build back up as the system again pulls back from the south. And that's going to bring more moisture back to the Tennessee Valley. So in reality, we kind of wind up with a few more hit and miss showers in addition to cooler temperatures for the weekend as well. It's all kind of one big hit and miss rain chance, but I do think rain chances are not as great, of course, compared to what we've got rolling in overnight tonight than to what we'll see for Saturday and Sunday. Here's a look at your hometown forecast for today. Again, keeping in that chance for those hit and miss showers, otherwise partly cloudy skies, low to mid 80s across the area in southern Tennessee, and maybe mid to upper 80s in a few spots in northwest Alabama. 86 degrees, today's high in the Shoals, the same in Florence. 85 in Rogersville, the same for folks in Cortland. 86 in Decatur, 85 over in Tishomingo, and the same in downtown Iuka. Here's a look at the next seven days from the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel. And again, more hit and miss shower activity here as we head towards Saturday and Sunday as that moisture elevates itself back up from the Gulf into the region. So we are going to maintain a chance for those scattered areas of rain, not widespread shower activity, but we will contend with that overnight tonight and into early Friday. Just stay weather aware. We'll be watching that very carefully for you. Again, temperatures cooler for sure as we head through the weekend. We'll go from the mid 80s today all the way into the 60s here for Saturday and Sunday and the mid 60s for your Monday, returning to the 70s though by Tuesday. That's a check on your forecast from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center. I'll leave you with a final look at the seven day weather outlook. And of course, be sure to stop by today at noon for more on your weather with Kelly. And then Fred Gossage is live at five here in the Weather Center. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.